Hello everyone, I am back with the part 2 to the previous World Box series, no not series, um, episode, and in the previous one, if you've watched it, what, my game just froze, okay, never mind, we're back. In the previous episode, we decided, well, I decided to create an insane civilization with far too many inhabitants than it should have had. It started with about 600 people, and it's now diminished to just about 300, and 430. And some of the other outer territories are doing pretty well. And before, I actually did find out that berry bushes are a source of food. So if the cities are lacking in crops, like these wheat farms that they create, um, you can instead just kind of rain some berry bushes on them like that. Obviously, you're going to need like huge, huge thing right here. So you're just dropping tons of seeds on top of them and it grows berry bushes. And those are actually a very sufficient source of food. Um, they actually get quite a bit from those berry bushes. These guys are actually not doing too bad right now. They're they're actually making enough food to supply everyone now. So that's that's epic, right? Four hundred people, and you're able to supply everyone. That's insane. That is a lot of people. I'm surprised that this city isn't literally the size of this entire map. And I still don't understand why it isn't, because no matter how big you make their societies, it will always um, grow at the same rate. This tiny city right here of only 21 people, in comparison to 435, is almost the same size as each other, which doesn't make any sense. How can 21 people advance at the same rate as 430 people? That just makes no sense to me. But hopefully I can try to increase the size of these societies and i'm not exactly sure how i'm gonna do that um the only logical explanation that i can think of for a society to get larger is to chop down trees get wood and make houses but um they don't really seem to be advancing that fast and that's probably because even when i try to rain trees on them they just don't grow because there's just houses and stuff in the way so then and, and all the trees end up growing outside of their territories um but yeah w when they do eventually decide to advance a little bit they do gain some trees into their territory they cut those down they make more tree and more houses to make more territories but the v the advancements of societies is very very slow i think last time i left it for somewhere near an hour and it only got this big so i'm not exactly sure if there's any way to actually improve the rate at which they grow um, you might be able to give them gold or silver, but I don't see that as a viable method to make their civilizations grow faster. So maybe I'll just drop some gold in there, see what happens. Drop some silver, drop some stone. Even though they already have um, a mine. Oh crap, that actually got rid of some of their crops. That may have not been a good idea, but... It didn't destroy their houses, so I uh, hopefully they're fine with that. And I'm not sure whether to think that this is an oasis or a hell, because they got hills as far as the eye can see, pretty much. Maybe not that much, but um, they have a fairly sizable area to work with. A lot of trees, and that, I don't know, I feel like that is plenty of trees to work with. They don't really have many riches, but they can create mines and stuff to collect stone, which is what these guys did right here to create stone houses and the cathedrals or whatever. I'm not exactly sure what this thing is called. Um, I, I can only picture it to be some sort of important building. Probably not one that you would store people in. It looks like more of an event church, right? I don't know. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. This, this society is not moving along very fast, so... Um, Maybe, instead of trying to get one society to move along really fast, instead what I can do is just place tons and tons of people everywhere and just start messing with everyone by starting some kind of world war between this one small island of society. So, let's just kind of start that right now, right? Let's just drop like 50 people here and then let's move to the next area, drop 50 people, and I'm just going to do this for a while until there are so many societies that the game probably will start to lag. Yeah. You can actually place the society super close to each other, so that's a good thing for me because 
That means I can just have tons of societies. However, it might not be good, so good for them. Because that means they can't really access wood when they're on the outer edges. So, that sucks to be them, doesn't it? They're already fighting. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so another weird thing is that if you take a society... Oh my gosh, what is wrong with you guys? Are you just looking for a fight? Seriously? Oh, come on. That's so messed up. Y'all are just fighting now. Come on. I spawn you into the world, and then you immediately decide that you need to make enemies. That's not a really smart idea. And the thing about that is that for some odd reason, a large society will send people... Specific, I think it's the king or whatever. It doesn't matter who sends them. But a society will send people to create other smaller societies. And sometimes what will happen is that one dude or one person in general will leave and then immediately get targeted by their original city because the game isn't able to recognize allies. Basically, every single city is against each other. And that's how this works. So as you can see, these people are deciding to just immediately go out and yeah this is kind of what i wanted it's kind of brutal yeah i'm sure but look at this this is exactly what i wanted i wanted people to clash and have epic battles so let's just continue doing that maybe 50 is too much i'm gonna lower it down to like anywhere from 20 to 30 so how about that one guy here tons of people on here there we go. One person here. One person here. Nope. He's not going to become his own society. He's just going to go to someone else's. Or he's going to run around people are going to kill him. I don't know. Wh whichever one catches up to him first, I guess. So, um, that's already a lot. I feel like that's already a lot of societies. Um, so, let's see how long we can keep this going. And also, I would just like to point out, these names are either the greatest thing I've ever seen or the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's almost like you took a combination of several languages, clashed them together, and then kind of just spelt random words with them. That's kind of what this looks like to me. It doesn't really look like... It doesn't have a rhyme or reason to it. It's just a bunch of random letters thrown together that are supposed to make sense, but whatever. Now we have all these people... Just attacking every single person in sight. And everyone's just a parasite to each other. I spawned every one of these societies with like 20 to 50 people. And now they've already killed each other down to like 10. Some of the noises these guys make are so hilarious. They'll be like, ha ha, yeah, I'm making laughing noises. Or they'll be like, war. Yeah, let's, let's set a war, guys. The first thing that pops into your head when you spawn, war. All I want is war. That sounds like a very, very good definition of these people, actually. Considering they will attack just about anything in sight, except for animals, for some reason. I was convinced for a while that animals would have something to do with their food supply. But apparently these guys are strictly vegan and will only survive off of crops or berries slash fruits from the bushes. Which makes close to no sense to me. I don't understand why. You would just let a source such as meat go to waste if you're a society desperate for food. It seems to me if you have meat at your disposal, then why not use it, right? But apparently you just can't do that. That's just not allowed in a society like this one. You can't do that. This society got absolutely obliterated. And now this one man's getting attacked by like 15 people. Are you kidding me? Do you really need this many fighters for one person? That's a bit overkill, don't you think? You know what? Just for that, you disrespecting this man like that, I'm going to drop some grenades on you guys. You guys deserve all of this. Yeah, that's what I thought. You can't be serious, right? You're just harassing this man. Oh, okay. Seriously? So, I blast you, and then you immediately run to the nearest person, and you just start killing them. What is wrong with you? These groups of people are just out hanging out together. One of them creates a little capital called Paive. I mean, Paiviva. Paiviva. Yeah, Pai, I don't know what I said before. Paiviva. And then immediately, tons of friction forms. They're like, no, you can't do that. Now we're going to have to kill you. I don't understand this game. It's so fun, but at the same time, so weird. What are these guys doing? Jesus. 
Do you need 40 people to gang up on one person? Oh my god. And I've actually decided, as of right now, that eventually I might leave this to run for a little bit. And then once the game settles down into a more balanced state where all the civilizations figure out how to live in harmony, which is, I'm pretty sure it's pretty impossible actually. These societies cannot learn how to live happily. There's, they create a bunch of houses, and then they see someone next to them, and they're like, you must die for your sins. And this society still cannot figure out how to grow any bigger. Look at this mayhem. There's people walking over each other all the time. They're just now figuring out, hey, maybe this gold and silver can be used for something. Hmm, maybe it can be. I have no idea. That seems like it would be um, a valid explanation for why I gave it to you. For now, I think this is as good as a society is really going to get. I don't really know if I can make it any better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save its current state. Because this seems like it, it might be a lot of fun later. It's going to mess around with just like 20 different societies. Oh my god, they destroyed this one over here. How could they? They had wheat fields and everything. What have you done? You monsters. Just for that, it's time for the grenades. I'm sorry, boys, but every every nice thing must come to an end eventually. See you later. Goodbye. Yep. There you go. And you guys, I have nothing. I have nothing wrong with you, but just you're special. Okay, you got napalms. There you go. I just you know, yeah. Um. So, apparently the napalms don't actually do any initial impact damage, but then they burn everything because they're highly flammable. You know, that's what napalm is, but, yeah, that's just, yep, that's what you get. That's what you get for exist. oh my gosh, none of them died? Huh? Well, I mean, they're probably going to, yeah, see, a whole bunch of people died right there, because... They can't figure out that standing on a burning house is not a good idea. You know, let's just get this over with. If we keep destroying civilizations at this rate, it's going to take forever. So let's just, you know, let's drop some bombs right now. Lots of scary bomb noises. Watch out. All these bombs everywhere. Let's see what happens when we destroy an amoeba. Yep, everyone's gone. Goodbye, huh? The good thing is that I actually did save this world. So all of this is just strictly for fun. Yep. Goodbye, Navima. You it was good knowing you. But God has decided against your existence, so that's just how it be sometimes. Sometimes God doesn't like what you're doing and he's just like, Alright, here's fifty random bombs that you can have. I don't want any more. Just just take them. Alright. You're welcome. You should appreciate me. And just to get this over with, atom bombs and antimatter bombs go. Destroy everything. Thank you. Yep. And on that note, that is the end of today's video. I will leave you guys with this beautiful picture of an atomizing destruction bomb. Swallowing everyone up into a weird abyssal black hole. So, yeah. No one remains on this planet. One person left. Alright, well, considering they were able to survive all of that, maybe they can create something with their lives. Who knows? But, yeah, that is going to be end of this part of the video. Part 2 of the island, whatever it was. But, goodbye. I will see you in a future video.